Hey guys, welcome back to the Stuff of Legend. My name is D-Lo and I've got another video for you guys, but today is more of a day of gratitude as it is technically speaking the day before my birthday. My wife surprised me today with a series of, of gifts that are um, wonderful to me. To you guys, they might seem small, but I really appreciate and enjoy these. For one, you guys may not be able to see this because of my tripod, but the sweater that I have is a flash sweater. Really cool, it's got like a zipper pocket right here as well. It says keep moving. I'm gonna see if I can get in there for you guys. So you can see that. Very cool, very comfortable. My size, I love it. Honey, thank you. There's three other things that my wife was able to get for me for my birthday um, that were really cool, really exciting. And I wanted to share those with you guys because it fits within the genre that I typically talk about. I collect Power Rangers pops and I don't think I've done a video specifically about these, but in the packing pop from when we moved, I talked about them, I showed them, and here's one that adds very nicely to my collection, is Rita Repulsa from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'll get you Rangers! <laughs> Super like high-pitched, annoying voice. In the movie that recently came out, she was played by um, Elizabeth Banks, very talented actress. Um, I love her work, but I really enjoyed her as Rita gave a new spin on it. This is not that version of the character, this is the classic version. But check this out. You see that there's like Lord Zed and uh, we have Goldar, you know, you've got all the Rangers with the masks off. I don't have any masks off Rangers, I only have the masks on. But nevertheless, they're all really cool and I'm really happy to have this one as part of my collection. So now, next up, this one, it might serve as a bit of a spoiler for you guys, but at the same time, it's part of the marketing, so I don't think it really counts. But if you guys are looking to see Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, the animated movie this month, that's this December. Um, you may want to be careful about this one, maybe skip ahead to the next one. Perhaps I'll put timestamps in the video in the description. So, but here you go. Here is the Green Goblin. Do you guys see that? I'm gonna see if I can get that at a good angle so you can see, but at the same time, it doesn't cast a glare. That's the Green Goblin. An odd take, it's more monstrous than, than man. But at the same time, it's really neat to have that kind of a um, ultimate Spider-Man take on the character. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around and show you guys some of the other pops in the series. So here we have Miles Morales masked. We have Peter Parker masked, which I have. Um, there's also Spider-Man Noir, Spider-Gwen, The Prowler, which I also have. I made a video about that one as well. I got that one for two bucks, um, which is incredibly cheap. I also had, uh, or there's uh, the Miles Morales casual, what do they call that one? No, it's just Miles Morales, but he's in street clothes, kind of dressing up as Spider-Man, but not really. Then they also have this, the Green Goblin. So a lot of really cool pops in this series as well. I'm really excited to have um, this Green Goblin. Green Goblin's always been one of my favorite villains in the Marvel Universe. Um, ever since I saw Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, that was the movie for me that set me on this, on this lifelong trail of just comic book obsession. And uh, I really appreciate Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, probably one of the best superhero comic villains we've ever gotten, honestly, one of the um, most well-renowned, but at the, I would, at the same time, based on how, how great of a performance he gave, I would still say that he is underrated, um, even in comparison to some of the comic book villains we have today. And so I'm excited to see what they do with that in Into the Spider-Verse. Lastly, I have another very special Funko Pop that I didn't anticipate my wife being able to get me this one. She got me the Marvel Studios first 10 years gold edition of the Black Panther. At first when I opened the box, I thought it was the Golden Jaguar, which was Eric Killmonger's um, suit. But it's actually just the golden edition of the first 10 years Black Panther. There we go. See that? Look at that thing. I'm going to go ahead and turn it right now and show you guys all the other pops in the segment, in the, in the series. So can you see that? So we have Iron Man. Up here we've got Loki. We've got Captain America and Potted Groot, Baby Groot. We also have Gamora. We have Thor with the wing helmet. Um, this looks to be uh, Black Widow. Um, I think this is, who is this, Hulk? Black Panther and Ant-Man. So sorry that took a little while. But here, this, this pop is really special to me. I really love Black Panther. I like the movie a lot. Um, I really love the cast. I love the way that they told the story and the way they brought Wakanda to life. It felt like a real person. It felt, uh, I'm sorry, a real place. It felt like you were 
getting a history lesson on an actual culture and on an actual society that wasn't fictional. It felt so tangible. And outside of a couple of CGI, you know, um, like bad CGI areas in the film, uh, which was literally, in my opinion, only like two, two spots, I thought the entire thing felt absolutely magical, absolutely real, um, and it it was wonderful. I loved it, and I can't wait for Black Panther 2. And uh, so, yeah, that's my thoughts there. Um, this is just a quick little, like, uh, thank you video to my wife. She's the best. Shannon, I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for being the best wife ever and being the best gift giver in the whole world. Subscribe if you haven't, and also turn on notifications because I go live quite a bit nowadays. So I don't want you guys to miss out on those things. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.